I've been in the seat now for nine months or so, and I have been overwhelmed by the amazing nature of this community and our interactions with CSU Bakersfield and all of the employees that are there at Edwards Air Force Base that are products of this outstanding institution. A couple of months ago, I went up to a hiring fair at CSU Bakersfield at the Bakersfield campus, and every single student, staff member, and faculty member that I interacted with was absolutely top-notch and outstanding. And I'll tell you, this valley, the aerospace valley, this entire region needs high quantity and high quality graduates from places like CSU Bakersfield. Because there is an overwhelming demand for high quality employees on base within the valley and within the region because of all of the important work that we have now and on the horizon that we are responsible for. And notably, what we're responsible for, of course, at Edwards Air Force Base, and we're very proud to represent our country in doing so. <laughs> In the last week or so, I spent an entire day down at Plant 42. Those that may not know what it is, Palmdale Airport houses a large government-owned contractor-operated facility that has the aerospace giants working on the most important, secretive, and cutting-edge technology on the planet. And I spent an entire day down there with those contractors, and I know based on what I saw within their labs and on their drawing boards and on their factory lines, that we need exactly what CSU Bakersfield has to offer. We need the best possible graduates working down there at Plan 42 for our national offense and for our country. I spend a lot of time with NASA research at Armstrong there at Edwards. And it's a joy to hear about all of the cutting edge work they're doing in earth science and planetary science and atmospheric science and they're in the middle of building two experimental planes that if they play out in a certain way, can revolutionize commercial air travel around the world. And they need the best possible graduates from places like CSU Bakersfield. I talk a lot to Lieutenant Colonel John McCall. He leads the Air Force Research Lab Directorate there at Edwards Air Force Base. They do a lot of propulsion testing work up there on Lehman Ridge. And he has showed me the lists and lists of those lining up to get a spot to test rockets in a resurgent industry up there on the east side of Edwards Air Force Base. And they need the types of graduates that CSU Bakersfield has to offer. Of course, at Edwards Air Force Base within the 412 test wing, we are in the middle of a portfolio of testing and development unlike we have seen in decades and decades. We have been working on next generation bomber working on next generation fighter, unmanned aerial vehicle, trainer, air refueling aircraft, mobility aircraft, and all of those areas need the high quality graduates that we can get from CSU Bakersfield and other universities and colleges in this region. You may not know, but the fifth generation aerial target, the next aircraft that will be built specifically to be shot down by our high quality aircraft is being built up in Tehachapi and will be tested by the members of Edwards Air Force Base. It's called Fifth Generation Aerial Target or 5GAT, and they need high quality graduates from places like CSU Bakersfield. We're working on true autonomous and artificial intelligence systems there at Edwards. We're working on five different hypersonics programs for weapons for the United States Air Force and beyond that are absolutely mind blowing. And we're working on very high end capabilities like that, while at the same time, working on how to counter somebody who goes to Best Buy and buys a quadcopter and straps an explosive to it and flies over our cities or our community or our bases. And we're working on how to make sure that we can defend against those types of threats as well. All in response to our national defense strategy that talks about asymmetric players and the resurgence of near-peer competition. And all of those areas that we're working on need high quantity and high quality graduates from places like CSU Bakersfield. And I am deeply impressed and appreciative of the fact that we have openings that are being filled today by your graduates. Science and engineering, IT, human relations, public affairs, maintainers, civil engineers, and the list goes on and on for civilian positions that we need filled by your graduates. 
As I look at the aerospace valley and the synergies that are going on here, I see four things that we need to work on together. Us in CSU Bakersfield, us in the Chamber of Commerces, us with the cities here in the valley, us with organizations like the Rotary Club. We need to work on these four major elements in order to make sure that we continue to develop and nurture and produce the workforce that this resurgent aerospace valley needs for years and decades to come. And the first one of those is education. We need K through college to pour and pool our resources to make sure that we are developing the base, best possible students because we need them to stay to be the best possible workers. We need us to focus on education. We need us to focus on connectivity to the world. And sometimes that's virtual connectivity. Having a campus of CSU Bakersfield here in the Antelope Valley is so important to us. But we need some physical connectivity as well. And hopefully the members of the Rotary Club here recognize that we're working with the city of Palmdale to try to stand up real commercial air travel out of Palmdale to places like Dallas-Fort Worth to provide us a connectivity into the aerospace valley. We need education, we need connectivity, and frankly, we need branding. We need the world to know that if you want a cutting edge job, this is the place that you need to go. We need the world to know that if you need really solid, strong educational programs, then we need you to come to this location either in the Valley or in Bakersfield. Because we can't have a zero sum game in sharing workers amongst all of the different programs that require us to have high skilled workers in the Valley. We need to import them. They need to come here as the place to go if you want to work on the world's most interesting, fascinating, cutting edge capabilities. We need the world to know that this is the place to come. And frankly, the reason Edwards is standing back up our air show in conjunction with our community partners is to help educate and inspire, but also to help brand. This is the location that people need to come. We need solid education here. We need absolutely connectivity here. We need branding here. And finally, we need to find better ways to collaborate amongst educational institutions, government institutions, private institutions, the corporations. We need to find ways to better collaborate. And I want to close by sharing a story with you of a collaboration that just bore fruit for us at Edwards recently. There's a program we've been working on now for the F-35 called Auto GCAT. Automatic Ground Collision and Avoidance System. And essentially this capability, in conjunction developed with NASA and Air Force Research Lab, our contractor partners, and of course our workforce at Edwards Air Force Base, is a capability where if a fighter pilot is flying and gets disoriented or overcome by the G-forces, that the aircraft will prevent them from hitting the ground. It will take over before they hit the ground. We helped develop that capability about seven years ago in conjunction with those partners in an amazing collaboration for the F-16. And in the last seven years, there are eight cases where we now have F-16 pilots that are still alive, that aren't dead, and F-16s that are still around because we've employed that capability that we developed with a collaborative opportunity there at Edwards. In the last three years, after developing that capability for the F-22, we have saved three F-22 pilots and three F-22s. Priceless assets, the pilots first, the aircraft second. All of that was developed because of a collaboration that started here. So about a year ago, our experts at Edwards said that we need that capability on the F-35, Air Force F-35s, Navy F-35s, Marine Corps F-35s, Ford Partner F-35s. And it wasn't supposed to be developed and employed until 2025. And so our team went on the road and went to Capitol Hill and talked to our congressional delegations. They talked to then Representative Steve Knight, and most importantly, they talked to then CSU Bakersfield alum, Majority Leader Kevin McCarthy, and convinced them on the Hill that we need that capability today for our F-35 pilots. And now, as of about three weeks ago, we have recommended fielding that capability for our nation's F-35s. And undoubtedly, in the seven years that they would have waited for us, to develop and produce that capability, if it was indeed in 2025, there will be dozens and dozens of F-35 pilots and machines that are around because of that capability. Two weeks ago, we were notified that that team won the most coveted aerospace award in the nation called the Collier Trophy for that collaborative development. It's a 525 pound trophy that sits in the Air and Space Museum. There'll be a large ceremony in June, but without contractor partners, 
academic partners, without NASA partners, Air Force Research Lab partners, and congressional partners, we wouldn't have that capability today. And that's just an example of the type of collaboration that we need on a regular basis here in the Aerospace Valley, alongside of our partners at CSU Bakersfield to make sure we get the job done for our nation. Education, connectivity, branding, and collaboration. And there's no better nexus for that than Edwards Air Force Base, and there's no better nexus for that than CSU Bakersfield. And I look forward to our continued partnership after working together for the last nine months and being massively impressed, President Zelezny, with your passion and your vision and your energy to make sure that we together ensure that this place, the center of the aerospace testing universe and the aerospace valley continues to thrive by educating and collaborating through connectivity and through branding to make sure that our workforce is producing what our nation needs as we make history today. Thank you.